Good evening, guys. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. Fresh new week here. So, I've just finished filming and I just wanted to quickly jump on, yeah? Because look at my hair. Oh, my days. So, last week I showed you guys this uh, Tresemme Soft Moisture. This one. I washed my hair today because I've been wearing a ponytail all weekend. So, I've just had like gel and free spray and all of this in my hair. And um, so, I wanted to like just freshen up my hair because um i've got hairdressers on friday um so i just wanted to just like freshen up my hair but anyways i thought i'd use this conditioner give it a test give it a try and see if it was worth the money and when i tell you look at it look at how my hair feels so nice and so fresh so i also then tried the the tresemme the marula oil i tried that on wet hair so i parted my hair into four sections and i did it that way and it works out really really nice this smells lovely this is excellent i wish it wasn't in a bottle like this because obviously when your hands become slippy it's hard to like get the product out but i put that all over my hair and i also put this hask um coconut oil this is i got this from a sample from glossy box and i put that in my hair as well i haven't put anything else in my hair now and look at it it looks absolutely beautiful so i'm about to take some pictures um for my youtube video because i've just finished filming this look this look when all the way left it's just no it's a no from me um it was supposed to be for my birthday look um but no i think it's a little bit more editorial a little less um soft i want i not soft i wanted more of a softer look and i think i've created a harsher look and i think the black is just a little bit too much i tried some baking today also i set the yellow under my eyes so i'm going to take some pictures in because i've been told that it doesn't give flashback this baking powder and um so i'm gonna try it um and this is the baking powder in question. This is the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. And I always find that it creases. And today I was deciding that I was I was going to buy some makeup because obviously I haven't told you guys it's my, my birthday this week. So um I was placing a new order for some I was placing some a new order for some makeup and um so I just got myself distracted. Yeah, so I was buying myself some new makeup and um, I wanted to buy a new translucent baking powder and see if I could give it a go. Like I thought, let's practice. Let's see if I can get good at this. And I went on Makeup by Sasha um, YouTube. She's a um, British YouTube um, content creator and she's also a makeup artist. So she gave... Um, details about her favorite baking and setting powders and she said the same thing about this banana powder from revolution is that it um creases under the eye but what she didn't realize and what she's now imparted on us is that you need to set your eyes with a translucent powder or a powder and then go in and bake and that should like uh, eliminate the um the creases so so far, I've just finished filming about 10 minutes ago, and yeah, not too bad. I tried reverse, I tried reverse baking. I need to go and sit down because I, now it just looks like I've got a harsh line on my face and I don't like it. And I've tried to blend it out. I've tried all sorts. Don't, I don't know. If anybody knows what I can do to, so it doesn't look like this, then let me know. But yes, this smells beautiful. It feels very lightweight on my hair. My hair doesn't feel heavy. Oh, I also use this, the recommendation from uh, Melissa's wardrobe. This is the Tangle Teaser. This is the thick and curly version. So the bristles are longer and it feels so lovely on my hair. I'm not even gonna twist my hair. I'm gonna leave it out and f out like an Afro. Um, so I'll see you later. Bye bye.
it's my birthday so we've skipped all the way to friday um i've had such such a busy week i haven't had the chance to even sit down and like update you guys on the days that i'm having um so i thought whilst i'm getting ready i would just catch you up on what's happened this week i think the last time i updated you guys i had just finished filming on monday and um what house oh and i was going through some recommendations of things that i had tried and i'm gonna keep on testing them so i'll keep you posted on that um what else happened so tuesday me and the kids we spent the day with my best friend we went to q gardens i think i've got some clips of that so so love it. i've never been there before but it was so nice in there and there was lots of people um but everyone kept their distance and it was really good because a massive park we had a picnic for lunch um the kids got to play in the adventure playground and nova actually climbed some climbing frames and apparate is so so proud of her um yeah so she's just had a great great um bank holiday weekend in the first few days she got to play with lots of little kiddies and because of lockdown she hasn't been able to play with any so it's been that's been really good for her then wednesday night no wednesday night what was i doing on wednesday oh no tuesday night i stayed at my mum's no that's a lie i didn't she said i was at home i oh, see do you know what right bank holidays always mess me up like i just always forget what day it is so i'm assuming it's wednesday yeah wednesday we went out to the gardens thursday oh thursday was yesterday oh my god listen to this dramas right so i had to I wanted to order some food and my nephew has started um, a little soul kitchen um so it's so so cute so nice and the food is a banging if i don't say so myself his chicken wings honey jerk chicken wings are my best friend so me and my sister we and yeah me and my sister mum and hubby ordered some food and went to pick it up the traffic on the way to go collect this food was an actual flipping joke like the setup they had temporary lights on the corner around the corner which was holding up everybody and i'm going down the high road and all i'm thinking is yeah i'm waiting until seven o'clock so i can go in that bus lane and literally at at, at six fifty nine, i saw this car just shoot past me i was like no it's not seven o'clock yet and i'm trying to like turn into the bus lane to let's like hurry this journey on but at one point it said we was going to be there at seven eight minutes past seven and we didn't get there till quarter to eight i think it was so england traffic london traffic is rubbish yeah i hate traffic i hate it gives me so much road rage being in traffic i hate it i hate it so much but anyways today is my birthday getting ready got my rum and all get yours at dally's soul kitchen mm. it's so flipping good mm. obviously i had to get the posh glasses out that i got for christmas all right so i'm just gonna get ready so glow up pending i've got hairdressers later so this hair is gonna have a nice trim we're gonna get a silk press so i'm just gonna do my makeup and get ready I did an order from Zara, so I've never shopped at Zara before, and um, but I liked, I've been watching um, Zara hauls, and some of the clothes are so nice, so I decided to dip my toe in, so I ordered my birthday outfit for today, and got that sent to my mum, so I picked that up, and I tried the outfits on, and I really, really liked the outfit, so I bought these like waxed effect Jean, let me see what I've got. first of all can i say that this was packaged so so well i ordered one two three four 
five items one being a pair of shoes and it came in your box just like this no plastic very eco-friendly i was very very impressed so these are the trousers i'm talking about so i got these and they're like a wax effect and i tried them on yesterday and they looked fine they looked fine with the outfit and everything just went to go and put them on today and they're giving me heavily strong Ross from Friends vibes. So I think I'm going to pass and I'm actually going to return these. Um, I'm going to return these alongside this white shirt that I got. It's got some really nice detail on the buttons and I really wanted like an oversized white shirt. But this one's just too big for me so I'm going to get another one. And this is the silk shirt that I'm going to wear for tonight. Oh let me show you my shoes just have a moment for them look at them how nice are they only thing i don't like is this like little toe design but they are so comfy i wore them yesterday oh and i'm wearing them tonight because we're all about the comfort so fingers crossed it doesn't i say fingers crossed fingers crossed it don't rain but yes and i'm gonna pop in to i'm going to pop into zara and return these two items and pick up something else that i've found um so yeah i think zara might be my new grown-up shop to shop in and yeah i'm really impressed so i'm gonna get ready for my hairdresser's appointment and then i'm going straight to dinner um afterwards so i will update update you guys when this looks like healthy <laughs> so birthday outfit is on got my silk shirt on and i had to change trousers i changed trousers three times and i ended up with these ones and then i'm from with my new white slider sandals from envy new look zara hair is pending makeup is done i'll show you guys a close-up of this we're ready to go Hello, look at me, just got my hair done. Wow, I absolutely love it. It's way better than I actually even expected it to be, but I thought nothing less of a place called Elite Hairdressers. My hair is literally swinging in the wind. Oh God, yeah, absolutely love it. Um, I know I can chat to me, not today, not on my birthday. I didn't come back last night um but I had such a great birthday like it's not even a joke like it was one of I think one of my top birthdays I've never been to the hairdressers on my birthday before I always go a few days before but it was so nice to go there and um the guys there were just so lovely um yeah i can't i the service was impeccable best service i've ever had in hairdressers and yeah the look at the outcome of this look so i got a silk press first time getting a silk press and i got a trim because i just wanted it all the same length um so good and they so they tidied up my undercut for me as well and the first time i had it done by actually a professional um so yeah my undercut is all nicely trimmed up and shaped up as well and my hair is just I absolutely love it so i've had the best best birthday um roll on 34 so yeah i'm happy i've had a great great day um and this weekend i'm just gonna chill i'm gonna get crack out the prosecco and i'm just gonna chillax with my new hair so and um, what i'm gonna do for next week's video is i'm actually gonna film the 
actual birthday look that I did yesterday um because it was just it was right up my street it's my normal my go-to um so I don't know why I was messing but it's okay experimentation is always good but sometimes the good old oldies are always the best so why do I mess with um what I know and I didn't get a chance to take a proper picture of it last night but I looked great um if I don't say so myself my outfit didn't go to plan and um, the trousers as I said were giving me Ross from friends vibes and what I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to be mindful of my spending so in the new year what I did is I made a new year's resolution that I wasn't going to buy any clothes also I was pregnant why am I going to do that my body's good changing and all sorts so i put a ban on myself buying any clothes and then these pieces that i showed you were the first um bits that i have brought since the new year other than a pair of maternity trousers and a pair of shorts that i needed and that was it everything else i have not been on any clothing websites or anything like no temptation but when i say i'm being mindful i want to buy pieces that can fit together in an outfit i'm so used to buying standalone items and then i'm like oh i've got no clothes because this goes only with this so i wanted to buy like key pieces that i can put together with multiple different um items i did pick up some other bits um but i think i'll show you guys tomorrow or something because i'm really tired and i'm going to close out the vlog today so i'll show you the little bits that i picked up because i returned some other items and then also i am my my birthday makeup order came so i'll show you guys um that as well and show you some mindful purchases that i'm now purchasing but i've had a brilliant week and guys i will see you next week bye bye